They're off in the Kentucky Turf Cup. Who's the star was a step slow to begin. Temple came out of there well. Keystone Field has some early foot as well. These two out for the lead. And look who's close. Gufo is right there in contention in between horses, but now being wrangled back. Breakpoint is up running in third. And then comes Arklow, who's not far off the pace, too. And at its highest honor, so Gufo finds himself sixth. Five lengths off the lead, just ahead of Glynn County. Admission office next on the outside. A break of another two back to Red Knight. And then comes Rogue Element. And another four lengths back to another mystery and slow starting who's the star. Keystone Field ran 24.26 for the first quarter and heads round the turn to the back stretch in front. Breakpoint is a length back running in second by another two. Temple is third. Arklow perched outside of him in fourth. Then Gufo surrounded by highest honors and Glynn County from the inside. Admission office has seven lengths to make up and then Red Knight. Break of another two back to another mystery. And at the rear of the field, a rogue element and who's the star? 49.72 the half. Seven furlongs to go. They go up the hill with Keystone Field out there on a two-length lead. Breakpoint continues to sit second. Arklow together with Temple third and fourth. In behind them is Glynn County toward the inside as they make their way down the hill toward the five furlong marker. Keystone Field and Ricardo Santana Jr. continue to make the pace here. They're on top by a length to break point. Arklo is right there in contention. Third on the outside while going three wide, heading to the half-mile pole. Right behind them comes Temple in the highest honors. Gufo has lost a bit of ground. He's about seven lengths off the lead at this stage with under a half-mile remaining here. And Arklo sidles up alongside of Keystone Field. Between those two is Breakpoint. Highest Honors is there on the outside. Temple is trying his luck at the rail. Red Knight with a wide run going up on the far outside. Still work to do for Gufo, who's in behind horses. Five lengths behind, coming to the top of the stretch. And it's Arklo and Highest Honors. These two with a quarter of a mile to run. And they're side by side, Red Knight. Now comes up to them on the outside. Gufo is splitting horses, and he's got a late run, too. And then on the outside, it's another mystery. Red Knight, close to home. Gufo charging on the outside. Highest honors. They're coming down to the wire. It's a driving photo finish, and it will be, I believe, Red Knight. But it's very close. Red Knight and Gufo were noses apart on the wire. Another mystery was third, and highest honors was fourth. What a finish. It is not Gufo. It is not Arklow. It is the one in Red Knight. Yeah, fantastic finish here. Red Knight from Mike Maker. We talked about him possibly being the most appealing at the prices. Full marks to Gufo. He came with his run. He was in a little bit of a precarious position in and amongst horses for the majority of the run. Rosario found a scene, let him loose, and he came with his run. But Red Knight, we talked about it. This is a horse proven at Kentucky Downs. He didn't win his race here, but he ran a good second. He came off of a very impressive run at Colonial in his most recent start, a race that he never looked like a loser, and it looks like he's just barely going to get his nose down in front of Gufo. It's not official yet. Keeping an eye right now, I still think it's inside, inside. It's gonna be... Ooh. I, I think it's 1-8 in there. Um, if, if you backed, that would be my call again. Hold your tickets. I'm not the official sort of bearer about who wins and who loses, but I think it was a fantastic effort from both of the top two. Uh, Arklow, no excuse. A beautiful trip. He's parked three wide in the clear. I thought he got a great ride from Florent Giroux to put Gufo in a bit of a box early on, made Rosario shuffle back with Gufo. Uh, unfortunately, Arklow just didn't have any kick when the real running began in deep stretch. He was down on the inside and packed it in. Uh, but each one of these top horses, I thought they all ran very, very well. Highest honors for a moment looked like he was going to threaten, and we joked about Chad Brown at, at double-digit odds in a turf race, uh, how unlikely that would be. It looked like for a moment he was going to get there, but we'll find out. It looks like looks like Red Knight gets the job.